morning, y'all. It is now Sunday morning. And I officially been up for about two hours. I really can't sleep. My brother was on my mind heavy this morning. And I was just like, I can't sleep. And then I have a hard time sleeping in hotels. So I want to sleep. I really can't sleep unless I'm at home. So I haven't been able to sleep all night, truthfully. It's just hard out here. Okay, y'all, so as y'all seen me earlier in my bunny when I was going to get breakfast and Bay is woke now. I'm alive. Right, mm -hmm. y'all, we didn't finish two pints of Crown, so mm -hmm. I don't think we will be drinking too much more the rest of this trip, but because the way my stomach hurt, it's hurting so bad. We are about to go see my other close friend, Nicola. We're about to go to her house, and we're about to get some Popeyes because y'all, the Popeyes in New Orleans just hit harder. If you want good Popeyes, you got to get Popeyes in Louisiana, okay? Since we haven't had it and I'm, my stomach hurting, I really don't know what I want to eat. I got to like sightsee and look around a little bit. I'm going to just get something I know going to bust. Popeyes. So we are about to head to her house and I'll let y'all know when we get there. So y'all, we get to my good sis Nicolette house. We had our Popeyes, but she was playing music and everything. So I was like, I'm going to just do a voiceover. Y'all, first thing we had to do was eat because when I tell you this Popeyes was motherfucking busting. It was a 12 out of 10. It was just so good. And I swear it don't hit like this in Houston. Then, you know, Nicolette, which is my sis or whatever, her husband, they wanted to entertain us. So Bay and her husband was playing pool. Bay lost about 20 times. We ain't going to talk about it. Bay lost about 20 times. But they was having a good time. And I definitely appreciate it. And then we were sitting there drinking whiskey, babe. We was drinking whiskey. I don't drink whiskey. So when I say randomly, we started to get real, real sleepy. Then sis husband cooked for us, y'all. And I'm not going to lie. This shit was busting. That shit was falling off the fucking so okay? So y'all, we had been there all it's day. Like so when we left, it was basically orange. like... Oh, uh, the sun was going down, y'all. And it was so pretty. Like, look at possible. this sky. You guys are so take beautiful. A picture in the sky. Okay? But not so like me and Bay was like, like, let's go like, get us some more like food. Like, if you can Photoshop why, this why guy in the background food? of my picture, Let's go get some more food. Let's head back to the hotel. Y'all, why yeah. nothing was so freaking yeah, open? I was so upset. So, y'all, we went to my other close friend's house. Well, I, at this point, I really do call both of them like sisters yeah. because I've been friends with them for a very, very, very long time. I've been friends with both of them since I was in the eighth grade, maybe. So, yeah. Um, which is crazy because neither one of them live in Texas anymore. But, you know, every time I come to New Orleans, I try to visit. And, y'all, so we went over there and Bay got her ass swooped and pulled about three times. However, she was bonding. You know, my brother-in-law. So, you know, I appreciate that. And he cooked for us. Y'all ain't gonna lie. That chicken was falling off the freaking bone. I was like, I don't know how he baked this chicken, but it was falling off the bone. That shit was so good. Man. So, look. And then I took, like, a little micro nap, and then we watched a movie. We were supposed to do a skit, but, yeah, alcohol got involved. That ain't happened. But we will do content together eventually, you guys. We definitely I'm trying to convince them to start a family channel. So if y'all want them to start a family channel, comment down there, comment there down below, and I'm gonna make sure I send it to us that they say start a family channel right now. Here, y'all. Right now, Bay loves oysters, and we went everywhere that I wanted to go. So I wanted to find somewhere different that I know Bay would like. So we're going to a uh, it's called Alchemy Oyster House, and um, cause I know Bay like oysters. Okay, you excited? You excited, girl? For them New Orleans sucky suckies. <laughs> so y'all, and then honestly, did we have had a great trip? You had a great trip? Yeah, I did. I've enjoyed our trip, honestly, you guys. Um, we're about to go get some oysters, and then we are going to go back to the hotel, get comfortable, and then probably watch baddies on our phones because it's Sunday and I'm gonna watch it anyways. I don't care where I'm at. Okay. Um, and then tomorrow we're we'll probably be leaving early. And I think we should just get some beignets and um, coffee and stuff on the way out. Yeah, yeah. Because low-key, how would we rate all the food we've had? The only, so I would let the, let's, let's go by restaurant. Let's go by restaurant. Okay, I haven't had anything nasty. Right, okay. So, Melba's, mm -hmm. I give that a um, 7 yeah. out of 10. Cajun's, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 
we'll definitely be trying it again right. next time we come back. Every time I come back, I'm gonna be trying it. Um, uh, Manchus. That was a ten out of ten because that motherfucking chicken. That motherfucking chicken. Yeah. That motherfucking chicken. And my gumbo. Oh, I still got my gumbo. I wonder if it's still gonna be good. Probably. It's in the fridge, right? Yeah. Um, and then we gonna let y'all know how we rate this alchemy place. Oh, the pizza. That pizza person, that pizza person I ain't gone. To the point, baby was like, damn that pizza high. I tried to go get cheaper pizza last night on bourbon. She, no, I only want to go to the place we went to. Well, yeah. stop complaining about the price. That $10 was the $10 of deliciousness. Okay, they put a little crack sweat in it, okay? This will make it come back. And technically we paid for two slices, but the slices are huge. So they, yeah, that definitely wasn't bad. Got to the point where me and Bay, neither one of us wanted to finish it. I'm like, just taking a bite, taking a bite. Now I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm eat the rest. I'm gonna try. Yeah, I got my jacket that I left in New Orleans three years ago. We're not gonna talk about it. I've been, I've been needing this jacket back about three years, y'all, and I finally got it, and it still fit. I got it from Fashion Nova. What? Who wanna lose a Fashion Nova jacket? I mean, now I'm a good one. Now I'm a good one. And then, um. Y'all, we basically did everything we wanted to do, right? We said we wanted to eat good, go on Bourbon Street, um, see my family, uh, and enjoy, each other. enjoy each other, of course, have a successful trip, of course, we wanted to eat some Popeyes, we ate Popeyes today, Popeyes was busting, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what it is, maybe it's just the grease. I don't know what they do different to the Popeyes out here, but them chicken tenders were so juicy, they wasn't dry. Right. They was not, ooh. Not juicy. Oh, me. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um, what is, oh, we went to go to the casino. We went to the casino. Baby. Yeah, we not even gonna talk about how Bay won money at the casino and lost it back. Y'all, so look. That was our gas money. <laughs> you want to donate to get us home? Crusades Kitchen Cash App. Hello, I'm just playing y'all. I'm just playing y'all. But um, I did what y'all said about P.O. Box. I am going to look into getting a P.O. Box very soon. Because I have so much stuff. Like, stuff. Well, I wouldn't even say stuff that I need. But it's just so much stuff that, like, I guess will be a great accessory to the things I already do on here. So, you know. Of course, of course, y'all get y'all shout outs and all of that. And I just appreciate y'all for even wanting to send us anything. So, I'm holding my phone, so I can't give you the other heart. But, um, you know, it's just been a great trip, you guys. And our official anniversary is tomorrow. So, of course, the rest of this vlog will be us getting ready to go home and on the road again. And then we're going to stop at my mom's house. And we are going to clean out the car and all of that before we get to our actual apartment. Because once we get to that apartment, baby, that's it. That's it. That's all. We land down. Y'all might not even get videos for the next few days. I'm just playing. Mm -hmm. I'm just playing. Y'all know I'm just playing. Y'all know I'm just playing. Okay. Oh, y'all want to hear our thoughts on this year? How has been feel to stuck and be stuck with her? Oh yeah. Uh, Y'all see my grades? Oh, I dyed my grades, so you wouldn't be able to yeah. see them. Cause I had them coming in. Yeah. They was coming in, child. What? Okay. My grades? Girl, you was making me gray. She was stressing me out, y'all. She was stressing me out. Stress, stressing me out. Okay. But anyways, you guys. So I will let y'all know when we get to Alchemy Oyster Bar. Y'all, this man is pedaling with a couch. And I hope people people supposed to sit on this couch. Uh, like oh, wow. Him. It's one of them they sit on. They innovative as hell out here. Because that's, that's get out. Y'all, we was about to get food at that one place. But the line was out the door. So it's giving. They, they must be good. Because what? Uh-uh. Okay, y'all. So we figured out what we're going to go eat. We're going to this place called the Fiery Crab. We have to find park. You have to find parking everywhere in the city. Jesus. So we're going there, which I think we have one of these in Houston, but we haven't tried it. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, we we in a little bougie area. It's a little bougie over here. Mm -hmm. They still got crackheads, but it's still bougie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where we're going. So, y'all, we went to the seafood place. One, day crawfish is out of season, which I get it, but I, just because it's New Orleans don't mean y'all can't do frozen. Y'all too good for frozen? Oh. Then she said the snow crabs was damn near $20 a cluster. What? Well, they had five pieces. They had 10 pieces. Right, I better get a, a two-headed crab. <laughs> so, y'all, what is this building? Door. Oh no, it looked kind of creepy. But oh, it must be like some type of theater because it got box office. Maybe they only show they only show certain stuff here, maybe. But, so y'all, we're gonna go somewhere else. At this point, we're just gonna go somewhere closer to the hotel. We're just gonna find something en route to the hotel because the stress. And I just want something to drink because I'm really dehydrated. So I'm gonna just have to get something at the gas station. Cause what? And for some reason, y'all, all weekend, I've been feeling like I'm about to pop. You know how you eat so you full and your stomach feel heavy? I've been feeling like that even without eating. Like what the hell? I don't know, y'all, but I'll be back. Oh, so, y'all, it is our anniversary. Yeah. Anniversary. It's anniversary. Hey, yeah. you guys so before we get on the road we've already put all our posts up on instagram and facebook and tiktok and the community so you guys should have seen our pictures by now and if you haven't seen our pictures pause and go see our pictures what okay but you guys before we get on the road um my best friend wants to see me off and she wants us to get some lunch or something to with each other before we go so we are about to try who that wings and more okay 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 so, and baby and excited to try that anyways because she just wants some chicken. I love chicken. How we gonna be saying that all we eat is chicken? I love chicken. But she <laughs> looks like a chicken. Bark, bark! Yes. There you guys. We have skits coming from y'all. We have so much content, you guys. While no, Bay is no. driving, I will try to edit as much as possible. I haven't even posted a video for Monday yet, so I need to figure this out so I can go ahead and try to get that together. So, you guys, stay tuned. If y'all don't see nothing Monday, it's coming on Tuesday. But however, more than likely, y'all not gonna see this until about Wednesday, okay? So, <laughs> you guys, we're about to go get some food and we'll be back. Y'all, she says she ain't gonna be on my camera, but hey, best friend, hey. Yeah. What you Ooh, y'all, we got some wings. I got, I got boneless because I'm a child, but this looks so good. This smell good, okay? Bang, I really appreciate you bonding with my family out here. I'm happy they like you. Y'all, it's giving. We and Bay got to be together forever. Right. Well, she already said that. Right. Y'all, she been threatening me for a week. Right. You, you think you're going to leave me? Go leave me like all them other mother suckers? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, we was about to get on the road, and then my best friend told me that her mama made me them red beans that I've been requesting. The fact that she made them before we left. We on the way to go get them. We on the way to go get them. Cause what? No, nah, facts. Every time I come up, like mama, the red beans. The red beans. Barbecue though. Ooh. Y'all, Bay said the food was busting. I was good. She ate hers already. Okay, you guys. So I just said bye to everybody. Bye, New Orleans. We're about to head back to Texas. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, did you GPS to my mama house? Yes. Oh, okay. We're about to head back to Texas. We're gonna stop at my mama house. We're gonna get to get us food and all that good stuff. Well, we got some beans, we got some red beans. Right. So it's given that's gonna be dinner. So we just need another something else to go with it. That's it. Right. That's it. But you guys, we are leaving New Orleans. It has been a great trip. It's been an amazing trip with my amazing girlfriend that I love so much. I hold my neck a little stiff. Look, I don't do that. Stiff neck ass. Anyways, you guys, I'll be back. <laughs> Y'all, my wings was busting, okay? So, y'all, after I ate, it was my turn to drive. We got more gas, and Bae said she wanted to take a nap in the back. So, this is me jamming, preparing for Bae to get ready to take her nap, but I guess she wanted to jam with me for a second. Y'all, we was listening to Day 26. If you don't listen to Day 26 or don't know who Day 26 is, I don't understand. We're going to lead him out of the Diddy situation because Day 26 was a bop. That's the one thing he did right, okay? And we was jamming, okay? Because what? The odds that me and Bae both love them is like, oh, that's how I know you were meant for me. Nobody knows me like you do. Nobody gon' love me quite like you. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, so y'all, this was Bae getting ready to go to sleep, and we were singing the song. Like, look, we look terrible, especially me. We're not going to talk about it. Because I'm just so close to the camera, but the camera just had to be what it had to be. So y'all... After this, look, I'm, look, okay, look, what, 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 what? I can't even remember what I was listening to, but I remember I started doing too much. But y'all see her trying to lay on down, lay on down. And it's like, girl, what you think this is a show for or something? But that's what it's very much giving, y'all. So then I just want to show y'all, like, your girl was really flying over the highways with the industrial and all of that. And I was really moving, okay? I was moving through that traffic. I was moving. I feel like I was flying. So, honestly, it didn't feel like I was driving for three hours. It didn't feel like it at all. Bay drove for like two and a half. I drove for the last three. It really didn't feel like it because I feel like I was flying. And when you listen to good music and you jam, you're having a good time. Baby, that's all that matters, okay? And I was having a real good time. But y'all finna see because your girl was having a whole concert by herself loud then y'all let's talk about how this man pulled up on side of me trying to get my number he kept mouthing number 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 and then i sped off and he was following me through the freaking traffic so i literally woke bay up and was like bay this man is following me and he keep asking me for my number every time he getting like up to we get window to window and i'm getting um yeah, getting a come okay as we are about to pull up at my mom's house hey guys but y'all, as promised, we are going to do a one year reflection um, because I did say that we were going to do something like that. So, okay. Betty, you go first. All right. On this one year, right, I learned a lot. When I say a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. First off, I learned a lot about myself. Then I learned a lot about being in a relationship and actually having a partner and knowing that you know that it's it's not one it's two and also being more considerate of other people and their feelings and basically taking that to initiative or, you know like actually wanting to learn and understand this other person because at first in the past i didn't have this type of relationship so i didn't know how to do those things but so, with that being said, you know, over the years, I mean, over the year, I changed, not on, you know, not for the bad, but I just grew as a person, and then just grew as a better partner, and I don't, I'm planning to do nothing but that in the future years to come. Oh, I know, right, right, okay. <laughs> um, my one-year reflection would be, honestly... I wouldn't say that I learned how to be in a relationship properly, but I learned how to be more caring towards the person that you, you choose to love. I learned how to be more patient and more understanding. Um, because I will say like being in long relationships, I feel like 
everybody should just know certain things and that is just not true. So I learned to basically like take a step back and look at things from other people's perspective and try to like calm down. That's something I'm still working on, but I will say that I've learned to actually try and know the difference between when I'm not calm and when I am. Like I just feel, I don't know, I feel like this first relationship where I feel more in tune with myself and another person most times it was always another person and then i neglect myself this is the first time i feel like i've worked on both at the same time hey, you know so um i would say you know this has been my best relationship thus far and you know hopefully my next one goes well next one i'm just playing i'm just playing <laughs> i'm just playing but now this has been my best relationship honestly Yes, we have had our trials and tribulations, and I've always thrown her out before, you know, <laughs> all kind of stuff. But I am happy that we stuck it out. I'll say that. Me too. And now we got no choice but to stick it out right. forever. Because right. It's just not happening. You ain't got no choice. Okay, okay. Don't do too much. Don't do too much. You ain't going away, girl. Yes, I know, baby. So, y'all. The rest of this vlog, honestly, we are back in Texas. We are literally about to pull up to my mom's house. So basically, we are about to go to our, favorite, our second home. Kroger. We gotta go to Kroger because we still have to figure out what we're gonna eat tonight. But the good thing about it is we got some red beans from my mama in New Orleans, y'all. And I can't wait to eat them, truthfully, truthfully. So, um, ooh, I was gonna say, can you taste them? Like, just dip your finger in to make sure they, you know. Oh, I did. I took it on the side. The red beans? Yeah. Fat ass. Yeah. So, y'all, I'm just basically finna get something to go with the red beans. I was thinking, like, a baked steak, low-key. Like, I was thinking something, I can just throw it in the oven and let it cook. That's what I was thinking. So, it's given we might be doing baked steaks and red beans and rice. That's what. That sounds like a pretty good meal. But, you guys... I'm about to pull up at my mom's house in a minute, so I guess I'll let you know when we get to Kroger. Oh, I got a piece. So y'all, I was gonna cook some, but I'm like, who's gonna cook when we just got back from a vacation? Right. So we are at Rudy's. Y'all look. Ain't not like that good barbecue when you get home, right? I was gonna say, cause ain't no no state got better barbecue than Texas. So I wasn't even gonna do that, okay? If it ain't homemade, I don't want it. Y'all, I love this place cause you can see them cutting down the meat. Y'all like meat? I like meat. Girl, you know you like meat sometimes. <laughs> <Stop playing. laughs> so you guys, we are finally back at our apartment. We got a, we got our food secured. Bay went to go get the wagon so we can unload everything out the car at one time because Bay does go to work tomorrow. And y'all, we are literally about to relax, watch TV, and enjoy the rest of our anniversary before Bay go back to work tomorrow. You guys, oh my God. Oh my God, Jesus, y'all. Yeah, that's how tired I am. I am so happy that y'all enjoyed this whole vlog. I'm so happy y'all enjoyed this whole trip with us. Be sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell their granddaddy that me and Bay enjoyed our first year anniversary. And I can't wait for more to come.